Hey, what is up, everyone? Long time no see. Just found this new band there called Splutter, I believe. It's been a long time, so let's check them out together. Nice. Definitely gives me that 2000s metal vibe. It's like if Slipknot and Mushroom Head had a baby. You got this band. Definitely dig the vibes. I get like the old Slaughterhouse vibe if any of you have ever seen um, the movie Saw 2. See the Saw 2 or Saw 3 where it was the game was done in a slaughterhouse and this really gives off that vibe. Nice, so that's Cyrillic on the screen. I'm um, guessing these guys are a Russian band, maybe Ukrainian. Um, but the dude in the beanie, the black cap, he really gives me the Alex Terrible vibes. He's got those nice low gut gutturals. Greatly enjoy it. Umbrella Corp, you guys see that clip, of the Umbrella lo logo, definitely a homage to the Resident Evil games and or movies. Um, if none of you are familiar with the Resident Evil soundtracks, um, the first movie, Re Re Resident Evil 1 Re and Resident Evil 2, had really dope soundtracks. Uh, first one, Rammstein was on it, um, and the second one, Killswitch Engage was on there. And like early 2000s movie soundtracks, in my opinion, was some of the best because at least here in the states, that's when you know metalcore, new metal, really reigned supreme, and it was in you know more of the mainstream media. So it tended to be in more movies and commercials and stuff. You know, I really miss those times. Like I honestly think that the two early 2000s era of new metal, you know, stuff that sounds like this, for me, was the golden era. Of heavy music. Um, since that era has passed us, unfortunately, um, I think the Titans of Metal right now are your Swedish melodic death metal. Um, in my opinion, they've been at the top for a long time, but I really like seeing that some of these younger bands are starting to bring back new, new metal. These guys are definitely younger, from what I can see, you know, from Ashes to New, if you like them or not. 
they definitely got that new that that new metal vibe. In my opinion, I hope that new that new met, that new metal comes back. So that is Splutter, if I'm saying their name right. Um, you know, it's definitely a high-budget music video. You know, they paid some director, crew, hundreds of thousands, if not millions of dollars. I don't know what country it was shot in, but with Cyrillic, I assume somewhere in Eastern Europe or Russia. Um, you know, thanks to this channel, you know, over the past... You know, two, three, four years we've been doing this, even though we took essentially two years off since the last video. I had gone down a humongous rabbit hole of Russian music, thanks to a lot of the subscribers. And it really solidified to me that if I had grown up in Moscow or St. Petersburg or some other city like that, that I still would have been in, in, in the new metal. But, you know, my bands would have been, you know, Amatory, you know, it's like ten dozen or seven, seven thousand. I don't remember their exact name, but they were really heavy. They were good too. You know, I would have been in bands like that. Uh, even if I was still there now, you know, I would have been into Slaughter, Slaughter to Prevail when they first started. You know, so it's cool to see that even across the ocean you have heavy music, and some of it is pretty great. So. This is out of the blue. We are back for now. There is no schedule. This will just happen when it hits me or people want more. So, see y'all later.